All right, guys, welcome back. This is video 11. In this video, we are going to be going over um, the physics engine. We're going to do collision detection and then also the collision handling. So if you want to go ahead and pull up uh, the physics.js file in your text editor of choice, let's go ahead and let's create a new method here and we'll call it collision detection. And this will be a function that we can pass in data. Oh, why do I keep doing that? There we go. Okay. And um, what we'll want to do is I want to have quick reference to our Jack character. So I'm going to namespace them here. We'll do data dot entities entity uh, tees dot Jack. So now I reference to him real quick. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do create a function here called entity collision check. Okay, what we're going to pass into it is an entity. So whatever we're checking up against our character, our main character, Jack. And um, inside of this function, all it is really is it's just an if check. And so I'm going to say if Jack dot X is less than entity dot X plus entity dot W. And now this is a this is a pretty long equation, guys. And it's pretty standard. This is um, box. We're checking against boxes. So we're seeing if two different box objects are colliding. So we'll see jack dot x plus jack dot width is greater than entity dot width. Oh, sorry, dot x and jack dot y is less than the entity dot y plus entity dot height or h and then the in reverse as well jack dot y plus jack dot height is greater than well let's just say i had it like this jack dot h and jack dot y so if his width and height added together are greater than the entities y. So what happens in this equation, all it's doing is it's going through and it's going to determine whether or not a collision has occurred. So I'll just put a note in here. Collision occurred. So now we know that we need to handle it somehow. And uh, so what I want to do is we're going to have another method on our physics object here that is called handle physics dot handle collision and I'll need to pass in the data as well as whatever entity has collided. Okay, so that's pretty simple on our collision detection. We are going to have to run this function multiple times to figure it out. So right now we have our wall. So we have that problem where the ground is clay. Mario's hitting the ground and he's just going through the ground. Not Mario, sorry. Jack is going through the ground. So what we can do is I can say data dot entities. I need to get access to that array. So now I have the array. I'm going to run a for each loop. So pass in a callback function here. Okay. And so for each wall that I have, I want to check this entity collision on. So I'll just simply invoke the method, pass in the individual instance of the wall, and we will have a check. Um, and then we also want to do, we want to check if he's colliding with the exit pipe. 
So we can do data. Dot, and actually, let's not do that right now. Let's just do the wall. We'll do that after we get Mario to start moving. So we'll keep it simple in this episode. So we have entity collision check. We check to see if it's walls. Let's say Mario's falling. It runs through this equation over and over again. So let's invoke it up here. Physics dot collision detection. And we just need to pass in data. Okay, so it calls Jack's falling, falling, falling. Okay, he hit the ground. So we're gonna reach this point. Let's create this method down here. Just like that. Um, we get passed in data as well as the entity that is colliding with our character. So again, I am going to namespace Jack here just for convenience. So I don't have to type this out every single time. I can just type out Jack. Okay. And the way that we're going to check is if it's a wall is all I have to do is an if check. I just say if entity dot type. Remember on our, our models, we had a type. If that's equal to wall, then we're going to know what to do. Now there's four different cases, three different cases of what can happen. Our character can either run into the wall from the right side, the left side, or on top of the wall, in which case it would be the ground. So we need to handle all three different um, collisions. And the way we'll do that is first we can do a left side collision, left side wall collision. Okay. And so all we have to do is we can throw in an if check there and I can say if Jack dot X, if his X is greater than the wall dot X and Jack dot Y is greater than or equal to the entity dot y then we know that he ran into the left side so we'll handle it by making jack dot x equal entity dot x minus ah come on jack dot w okay so all that's doing is it's going to push him back so it looks like he never he just, he goes right back to in front of the wall, right smashed up against the wall, but he doesn't make it look like he goes through the wall. Okay. So we'll do another uh, simple check with the right side. Okay. So now we need to check to see if he collides with a uh, right side of a wall. I'll say Jack dot X is greater than entity dot x and jack dot y is greater than or equal to entity dot y like that entity dot y then we know it's got to be on the right side because we checked left first Okay, and we can just reset his x value equal to the entity x plus, this time plus, entity dot w, just like that. Okay, now to determine if Jack is on top of a wall, um, because if we pull up the image, he can either be on the top of the floor, the ground part, or on top of this middle section block. Um, we need to do another check. So we can just do top. I like putting these comments just so later on it's a lot easier to know what's going on with these if checks. So top of wall collision. And it'll be another if check. And all I have to do is say jack dot y is greater than entity dot y and jack dot x oops plus jack dot w 
if that is greater than entity dot x plus 10 and jack dot x is less than entity dot x plus entity dot w minus 10 and this is kind of a long equation but it's necessary velocity so now we're checking to see if he is indeed moving if it's greater than or equal to zero then we need to do something what we can do is we can say jack dot current state is equal to jack dot states dot standing so at this point we know he's not moving he's just standing which i we haven't done this part yet so we'll comment this out like that that'll be when we in the next episode when we add the state machine um, and then we need to do jack so we just need to say jack dot y is equal to the entity dot y minus jack dot h and we can set jack dot velocity y equal to zero whoops what, the heck, what happened there jack dot velocity y equal to zero just like that okay let's save that should be good enough to be able to handle um whether or not he is landing on top so let's save let's pull up in our browser the file the canvas and there it is i'm gonna turn this down okay so if you see he's colliding now with what's happening is he falls and then he lands like I said, disclaimer, if it looks like it's skippy, it's not. If you're following along, you'll see that your version Mario's falling very smoothly. It's just my screen recorder. I don't know why, but it's not keeping up with the speed of Mario falling or Jack falling. But he lands, and what happens is we are detecting, oh, there's a collision. So we just reverse. We just move him up one, and then we draw to the screen. And so the timing of that is set so it doesn't look like Mario's going underneath and up, underneath and up, because we're drawing after we do the collision detection. So that is this episode. In the next episode, it gets fun. We are going to be handling pretty much the gameplay. We're going to be handling how we move Mario, what state he's in, if he's jumping, if he's walking, or if he's just standing, and then also what to do when we collide with the coins and the exit pipe. And then after that, we just have one last episode to... Uh, add up the coin score and uh and the game so i hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far um believe me the next episode is um is pretty is pretty fun it gets into really the gameplay of the game so anyways uh i'll see you guys in the next episode later